I mainly like the brain because it's really what like provokes every single thing in your body. Like it's how you move your arm, it's how you speak, it's how you hear. It's, without a brain, you can't really do anything. So I'm eight years old. I'm going to be taking dual enrollment. Um, currently, I am a sophomore, but for the dual enrollment part, I'm going to be taking Neuroscience 100 at your science college. It's not a sensory neuron, and it's not a motor neuron, it's an intra neuron. Right? I didn't really think much of it, because, I mean, yes, that's a huge achieve achievement, being the youngest there, but I didn't really have any major thoughts on it. I kind of just said, all right, cool. <laughs> and just write down what kind of neuron it is based on extensions from the cell body. Um, bipolar. Bipolar, right? So two I have been thinking, like, what if I'm too short for the seat? What if I'm getting looked at? What if people are saying, what are you doing here? <laughs> I guess I'm making a unipolar neuron. Usually I feel like once I walk into somewhere with people a lot older than me, that's meant for people around their age, like, I feel like everyone likes what's a kid doing in here. <laughs> I have an idea to make the biggest cell body on planet Earth. So usually I do get some attention, but usually it's on the positive it's side. Uh, it would be the collateral. Yeah. And then I think the tape is the sheet, right? Yeah. yeah. The main thing that's good about science is probably the material you learn in it, you mainly just see the forces, the gravitational pulls. You see like the more in-depth versions of things. I do want to become a pediatric neurosurgeon. And the main reason why I want to become a pediatric neurosurgeon is because I always like to help kids around or younger than my age. He's a joy to be around, he's a lot of fun, he's very inquisitive, um, and he's very humorous. Martin is floppy. When he was about one years old, he started, he started to read signs, um, passing restaurants, and I didn't understand where it was coming from. Looking at our network, do we see any neurons that are communicating? He wrote something like 2x plus 10 equals 12, and He's just like, look at this, and solve. he told me to solve it. And I'm like, <laughs> those days are over for him. But I just thought it was funny, so I quickly, because we have a group chat, a family group chat, so I sent it to the group chat and showed them, like, this boy just, he just wrote an equation. Um, and I just kind of like, let it be. That's all I have for today. Your it's fascinating, because you see it on the news, you read it in stories, but you never think that that would be you.